There's an uncanny sensation that creeps up on me from time to time. A peculiar feeling that blankets me, enveloping my senses like a dense fog. It's an experience that's hard to put into words, but it's something akin to a profound melancholy. Yet this isn't your garden variety gloominess. It's deeper, more intense. It's as if I'm trapped in a bubble, detached from the world yet profoundly connected to it. This indescribable sensation often leaves me teary-eyed, my heart transforming into a pool of soft empathy. My hands tremble, a nervous energy coursing through my veins. And then, as if guided by an unseen force, I find myself in prayer. It's a fervent, passionate intercession for someone unknown, someone in dire need of divine intervention. I pray fervently, casting out the darkness and calling upon the light of healing and deliverance. The identity of the person I'm praying for remains a mystery. It's as if I'm tuned into a sacred frequency, receiving divine signals that compel me to pray. But the channel never discloses the recipient. It's a peculiar predicament, isn't it? But there's a profound beauty in this mystery. This spiritual phenomenon first occurred around December 2002, a year after I had dedicated my life to following the way, the path of early followers of Christ mentioned in the Book of Acts. My life was filled with prayer, worship, and an insatiable thirst for the Word of God. I was a beacon of joy, my newfound happiness often irking my family. But that fateful morning was different. I awoke to a blanket of despair, a stark contrast to my usual joviality. The strange sensation lingered all day, disappearing only at night, leaving me once again brimming with joy. But the relief was short-lived. An hour later, we received the tragic news of my wife's sister's passing. This pattern repeated itself over time, with each occurrence of the strange feeling followed by news of a death among family or friends. My wife grew fearful of this divine foreboding, dreading the inevitable news that would follow. In my quest for understanding, I confided in my pastor about this peculiar phenomenon. His words illuminated my path. He labeled me an intercessory prayer warrior, urging me to read John 17. He advised me to use my unique gift to pray for life, not death, and to exercise my authority over the enemy. His words transformed my perspective. I started praying for life and noticed a shift. The frequency of deaths decreased, replaced by victories. These days, the strange feeling visits less often, but when it does, I know my duty. I am an intercessory prayer warrior, a conduit of divine intervention. Despite the mystery that shrouds this gift, I embrace it, for I know my prayers are an unseen lifeline, a beacon of hope for someone in need.